time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get at it. Get your bag up. Hey, yes, you read it correct. My relaunch day is November 1st at 12 a.m. Hope to see you there. Nobody knows but us how we roll, how we roll. We're about to take this ride to this other mall that we've never been to. So, um, we're going to bring you guys along. But as I stated, I don't have a way to properly hold my my phone and my camera is the battery is gone so videos might be a little shaky y'all please forgive me um but i gotta keep vlogging because if i don't then i can't get a video up every day so yeah coco hi just hola como esta oh thank you sir appreciate you very much I'm trying to get you in so you can say hello because we're about to. Oh, that man, y'all. Curtis, say hi to y'all another time. We got a lot of stuff going on right here. Wait. I'm looking for the gas price. Gas is a dollar and 50 cents. What? Y'all don't even know how happy I am. I'm excited. You know, it just, it just feels so much better. <laughs> Trying to get this gas pumped. Girls just left us. This cute. This nice little picture. Maybe we should take a picture right there. <laughs> She's a mess. Well, come on, Curtis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Look at my, my stuff shaking. Yeah, that's great. This spot. Oh, oh, you like this model so far? Yeah. Yeah, but then she me. She be trying to sign, y'all. She not doing game sign. She trying to use sign language. You getting on the train, girl. It's pretty empty in here, but we just want to see what they got going on in here. These hats are cute. I would totally wear this. Call me weird, but I would. Especially that white one. Cute. I was gonna get those on Amazon. Which one? I wanted the perfume body one, but it was like white. Those are cute. I like the pink one. Y'all got pink. Okay. Trying to get different colors. Those are cute. Look at the ear cartons. I don't think those are cute. They just. Oh. I guess I got love for colors. Look, babe, look at this. This is the old school boy, the Nintendo, and the old, old TV. Made out of Legos. Oh my god, that's made out of Legos. Yeah, as you can see. Wait a minute. Now, this is the Lego store. They don't have nothing on this display that's not made out of Legos. Oh, now I see it through the camera. I can see. Wow. Look at these though. What? Yeah. Let me see how you look, girl. Uh, Corona yeah. Oh, those are so different. Those are cute. Okay, maybe the black. Red. Oh, red. It makes everything red. Let's try. She wanna try. 
It make everything red. I don't like it. Let me see. See, that's how I don't like red. I, I, I don't know. Something about it. I, I can't. This mall is, it got a lot of stores in it. I mean, Lot of, not a lot of stores that I shop at, but it's still pretty decent. It ain't, it ain't too bad. You said a lot of stores you shop at? Mm. But yeah, they do, they do have like H&M. Forever 21. Forever 21. What else you yeah. shop at? Oh yeah, my store, Tory. They do have Tory in here. I need me some more black leggings from tour. Uh, but we about to head back. Um, Curtis gotta go to work and we need groceries. So we gotta work our way back. But yeah, we'll um, see what the rest of this day hold. And then I need to braid my hair. I need to finish my unit. Oh, guys, I am working on my relaunch. Uh, like, I'm trying to create like a little video. I have my date. If you haven't seen it yet, it is November 1st. I will be relaunching the store, opening everything back up November 1st. If I, if for any reason I move that date up, I will let you guys know. But yeah, we're about to go. So I'll see y'all later. I've got the water running for probably like one minute or so. Y'all see how red this water is? These are my ribs. This is not blood, people. That is dye. They put dye on the meat to make it more attractive, to make it look really red. But come on, y'all. Beef is red. Pork is really not. Beef, beef actually is not all that red either, but... If y'all would have seen how dark this water was, I didn't think to record it until the last minute. But as you can see, it's starting to clear up the more I let it run. Make sure y'all clean y'all um, meat before you cook. Because, yeah, they do all kinds of stuff to this meat. That's why I like to get my meat from Whole Foods. And I'm probably about to start back now that I got a little upset buying food. I probably should just start back getting my meat from Whole Foods because... Yeah, these people doing too much. Okay, so y'all, as y'all know, I can't record and work. But I'm going to tell you what I'm about to do. So I got my ribs here. This water is so hot. I don't know why. And I was just cleaning. I was just cleaning. I was just cleaning. I was just I'm sorry. Did y'all like my little remix? I just had to keep repeating that part because of some of the comments that you guys leave. I do not normally clean my meat on camera. And the only reason that I did this time was to show you guys how much dye was on the meat. So yeah, just because you don't see it don't mean it's not being done. I think it's safe to say that we all cook and we clean differently. Just because you do it different from somebody else does not make your way the right way. Just a word to the wise. Please don't let my current situation fool you. I've been store manager for restaurants where I had to obtain a sanitation license. I also owned my own restaurant where I also had to maintain a sanitation license on a whole other level so i think i'm qualified to know what i'm doing let me do me in my home you do you and yours now let's get back to this video just cleaning them i cut it in half these are baby back ribs i cut them in half and so i'm just gonna layer them inside of here because as you can see they don't fit and I'm going to season them here. And this is the best I could do. So I'm going to put both slabs in here. Season them. See, put the other ones in, season those. And then just let them go. This don't even look like anything that I season and do it. I don't know who meat this is. So, basically, I got to go to Walmart, y'all. So, we got to head to Walmart. I'll take y'all with us, of course. 
Wally World, favorite spot. I do not have any lorries. That is not going to happen with some ribs, okay? I am the person who do not eat, um, I don't eat barbecue sauce very much. And I really don't like it, like, on my ribs. I eat my ribs nicely seasoned, just the way they are. And, yeah, that's not going to work. I don't know how I'm supposed to enjoy these ribs without some lorries. Mm -mm. So, I'm on my way to Walmart. Me and the girls, we actually got a list of things to pick up. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to let this just go while I'm gone. And let's go. Honey barbecue. You know what we get. They don't have whole kernel corn. I don't care the brand name. You just need some corn. No, I mean that's the type of corn. I'm looking at Del Monte. I don't care what kind. Just get some whole kernel corn. Oh, okay. Yep, that's the exact one mommy buy. High five, girl. Yeah. Good job. Yep. Put it in the cart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we had almost left this store and I didn't get my Larry's. Oh my God, what do Crocker got against Larry's sickness? So, that's all that's left. But you know what? I'm getting it because I need it. So. So we back as you guys saw you saw everything that we picked up because i recorded them taking me out the buggy and stuff but this is what my ribs looking like they definitely do not look appetizing right now Ugh, it's safe to say that's not appetizing at all actually makes me want to itch ew that looks gross we're gonna hurry up and get some seasoning on here so I'm going to go ahead and finish seasoning them up and I'm just going to let them, let them keep cooking. What? I'm just trying to see what job you got to order some on Prime Day. They got stuff. The Echo, I know, for like $20 <laughs> when it's really like $50 though, man. What a catch. It is a catch, but it's just not a catch for us. We ain't ordering it. See, that's probably when you should have ordered your stuff. 
Um, no, because my cotton candy machine is not going to be on there. They don't have cotton candy machines for Prime members. Oh. So it wasn't. I looked on Prime and they only have snow cone machines. That type of stuff. So Prime didn't have, I mean, cotton candy machines with no Prime. Just the cotton, just the snow cone machine. Why are you chilling with my Gatorade? Why are you chilling with my Gatorade? I don't know what's not I want it. Do you know I've been sitting over here looking for this whole time? Which one would you like? Bye. You didn't take that garbage. No, not. I don't want to drink it. I just want them sitting over there. Oh. Hi. Mm -hmm. And I want you up doing the potatoes like you're supposed to do. I had to take my package. Mm. Which is nowhere. I see the little dots. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check on this and see where we're at. Ooh. Okay, see, that look a little bit better. Okay. All that other itchy stuff. But you guys see how much grease is in the bottom of here? Right here. Like, woo. It's a lot of grease in there. Um, I didn't add any water at all because I know that when I bake my uh, short ribs, they, I'm sorry, my baby back ribs, they make a lot of grease on their own. Um, so right now I'm just rotating these guys. If you are new to cooking, I strongly suggest that you get a meat thermometer to tell you when your meat is done. Because even the best cooks sometimes use a meat thermometer. Me, myself, I use a meat thermometer as well. Um, but I also know how to look at the meat oh, and tell when it's done. Okay, y'all, I have to, let me turn this off. I will talk to y'all in one moment, because again, I don't have a box stick. Hold Sorry about that, I'm back. Okay, I was trying to get the one from the bottom um, and bring it to the top, because I'm trying to rotate the meat. But like I was saying, like I could tell how, if my meat is done, because I've been cooking for so much, so much and for so many years, that I could tell. But when it comes to pork, um pork can look a little pink and it's actually done but if you don't know how to cook you could easily mistaken it for being um done when it's not so it's best to check the temperature on it uh, pork should be at 175 um at, uh, uh pork should be at 175 uh degrees fahrenheit and the way that this meat is, is so tender coming off of here is very possible that this meat is ready. But to be on the safe side, you know, I don't have a thermometer here with me. I do own one, but it is in storage. So definitely was one of those things I would, thought I would be needing. Uh, but yeah, so I just rotated the meat. I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started on my uh, mashed potatoes that I am making from scratch. I thought about it, you guys. I went ahead and started cutting, cutting them up so that they can, I don't know, maybe it'll cook a little bit faster. But as I cut them, they pretty much look like they're done. But again, just to be on the safe side because this is a slow cooker and I'm not sure how hot the temperature in here gets. I am going to let them continue to go. Normally, I mean, I was thinking about putting sauce on it too, but I did want to um, make sure I tell you guys, if you want to bake, like let's say you're using your oven and you want to bake the barbecue sauce into your meat, do not do that until your meat is done. I repeat, do not do that until your meat is done done completely done it doesn't take long to bake it in there so it's okay unless you it's kind of hard to say for a beginner 
But if you're a beginner, just wait until it's done. Put put the barbecue sauce on it and stick it back in the oven for about five to ten minutes. But if you're not a beginner and you know that you only have about ten more minutes or maybe 15 more minutes or so to go on your meat, then you can put your sauce on there and stick it in the oven and let it finish cooking that way. But just to be on the safe side, that's just a little tip for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting up the rest of these. Basically, that's what I did. Just cut them in single bones and I'm gonna let them keep going. Okay, these are some baked potatoes. And the way that I baked them was to just put them in the microwave. So I am about to turn these into mashed potatoes. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna add some butter. Cause why? Butter, 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 butter. You supposed to sing it. I'm the the but it's a vlog we live here with families okay so i'm gonna put butter in here and i am going to add some milk because the milk is what make it rich and creamy sorry i don't measure i just eyeball stuff and i'm gonna make this a garlic butter so i'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in there give me one moment so I'm gonna add some minced garlic. Well, oh, not the, <laughs> <laughs> the spoon went in the garbage. Hold on, y'all. Just in place for the garbage. Ooh, that garlic is strong. That makes me think of mine's pizza though. It's such a hint. That pizza was. I would have to, yeah, be a little more picky. For them. Okay, so I'm going to put some minced garlic in here. And yes, it is strong. Just one heaping tablespoon. Like in the mashed potatoes? I'm just going to add the man. See how she she criticizing what she already eats and don't even know um, what. Because she don't say? know what's in it. You see that? She got a lot to say because she's seeing what's going in. But they don't say that when they eating it. Okay. So next I have some. These are my favorite Idaho mashed potatoes. I do not use any other brand because these taste just like potatoes to me. So I add just a little bit of this to stretch my potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then I have some boiling hot water already on the side so I'm just put just a little bit of that because that milk was pretty cold so it will mess up my little mash you can boil milk too instead if you want that's just an idea so okay so I just gotta mash them up real good but I'm gonna add some black pepper I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there and then I'm also going to add my uh, Kinder's gar buttery garlic and herbs. This stuff is really good. I tried it and I liked it. I just try to do different stuff with my potatoes and sometimes with my, my rice and stuff. Because it's you get bored with the same stuff over and over. And sometimes I make cheesy garlic uh, potatoes. Because you can put cheese in here if you want as well but i'm not putting cheese in here today it's just gonna be the garlic mash and i used to use margarine but i don't use margarine anymore i strictly use butter so that was carry gold butter that i put in here and these are your mashed potatoes so these are ready. I'm going to move on now to the corn. This is what the girls picked up. I never buy cream style corn, but they said that this was all that was there. So I'm going to cook it for them, but yeah, I'm not a fan of cream style corn. Um, and if I was, I would probably cream it myself. 
but we're gonna go ahead and cook this fairly simple the only thing i'm gonna do is um just heat it up and i don't know make probably make it a little sweeter with some sugar or something but that's pretty much it for that and i'll show you guys what a full plated meal looked like when i finished this is what the cream style corn looked like i did add in just a little bit of sugar to sweeten it up because um, my kids like sweet corn and yeah like there's nothing else i'm gonna do to it i just hope they like it i will actually taste it myself and see how i feel about it but yeah that's done okay so my baby back ribs look more boiled than baked but that's fine um, so just because of me not liking barbecue sauce on my ribs, I don't know if you guys ever seen in my past videos, I never put the barbecue sauce on all of the ribs. So this is the way we do it. We plate. And then we sauce. So right now I am doing a uh, cocoa and I just do just like this. You're spread it, spread it. If you got a brush, you know, you can always do this with a brush. But I'm really, really, really taking it easy on the sauce for her because she don't need a lot of carbs either. So, that's that. Okay, dinner is served. Today's post notification shout out goes to Amy Anderson. Thank you so much, Amy, for watching and taking the time to comment. We really appreciate you here. You guys, don't forget, November 1st at 12 a.m. relaunch will be happening. And I hope to see you there. See you in the next video. Bye.